So in this video, we are going to learn how to upload files from Pavli Form Builder responses to Google Drive. Now suppose guys, you have created some online form using Pavli Form Builder and you have also added an option to upload the file in the same form. Now you want that the users who are filling the form and uploading the file, you want to add those same files into your Google Drive. Now let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be getting a new response, a new form submission in our Pavli Form Builder form. An action will be the files which the users are uploading while submitting the form, uploading those files into a Google Drive will be our action step. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavlikinix dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavlikinix in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavlikinix account in just 2 minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Pavli Form Builder to Google Drive. And then just click on create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data of form response, which we are receiving on our Pavli Form Builder form inside Pavli Connect. So here using Pavli Form Builder, we have created a form. Let's take an example of this assignment submission form. So I have created a form and then I have shared this form with my students. So the students can enter their details like their name, email, subject, and they can upload the file of their assignment. And I want all the files which I'm getting using this form submission, I want to upload those files directly into my Google Drive to store them over there. Now to do this, first we have to connect this form with Pavli Connect so that we can get this form response and the file data in our Pavli Connect workflow. And after that, using Pavli Connect, we will be sending the file which we have received in form response to Google Drive using the Pavli Connect workflow over here. So let's begin. Now here in trigger window, in choose apps, search for Pavli Form Builder. Select Pavli Form Builder. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new form submission. After selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL guys, we are going to connect the form which we have created using Pavli Form Builder with Pavli Connect. And how you can do that? You just have to follow the help text given below over here. Copy this webhook URL from here and go to the form which you have created. So we just took an example of this form, assignment submission form. After opening the form in the edit mode, on the left side here you can see several options over here. Out of which click on integrations. And after clicking on integrations option, here you, you can see an option named as webhooks. Just go to webhooks and click on this add webhook button. Then here guys in this box, it is asking us add webhook. And here in this field, we have to paste the same webhook URL which we have just now copied from Pavli Connect. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. And after pasting it, just click on save. And now we can see that just now we have added a webhook URL in our Pavli form builder form. After adding this webhook URL, we have successfully connected this form which we have created using Pavli Form Builder with Pavli Connect. And here you can see the same form has been selected in the drop down over here. And here in Pavli Connect guys, you can see that we have also received a blank response. This means this connection is working perfectly fine. Now just click on this recapture webhook response button and then it has changed to waiting for webhook response. Now this means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some response, some data from Pavli Form Builder. So what we are going to do, we are going to make a test submission, a dummy submission in this particular form which we have created. So let's copy the link of this form, the share link of this form and open it in a new tab. Click on the share button and then let's copy the link, go to a new tab and paste it over here. So just now we have opened this form which we have created and connected with Pavli Connect. So here we are going to enter the name of a user, for example, demo student. This is the name of the user, just a random name. This is the email address. And then this is the subject, for example, English assignment. 
And here guys, we are going to upload a file. Just click here. And then let me select this file, the PDF file I have created, already created of English assignment. Just select it and click on open. So here guys, in this form, which we have created using Pavli Form Builder, we have added the name of the student, the email address, subject, and we have also uploaded this file over here. After this, just click on this submit button. Now, when we click on submit, here we will see that just now we have received a response on this form, which we have just now created using Pavli Form Builder. And because we have connected the same form with Pavli Connect using the WebOOK URL, here you will see that the same response of the same form submission is received inside Pavli Connect workflow as well. So here guys, in Pavli Connect, you can see we have received the response. And in response, you can see the same details. Here you can see the same name of the student, demo student. You can see the same email address, same subject which we have entered. And here you can see the link of the same file which we have just now uploaded. Just copy this file link from here, go to a new tab and paste it over here. And here you can see the same file has been downloaded. So this was the assignment file which we have just now uploaded while making this form submission. Now this means the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully connected our form which we have created using Pavli Form Builder with Pavli Connect and received the form submission data, the form response from Pavli Form Builder inside Pavli Connect with the link, with the URL of the file, which was uploaded in form response. Now, after this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we are going to upload the same file into our Google Drive. For that, just scroll down, come to our action window, and here in Choose app, search for Google Drive. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, we have to select the action event as upload a file. Click on connect and then select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Google Drive account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button, select your Google Drive account in which you want to upload this file. And after that, just scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Drive account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the URL. That what is the URL, what is the link of the file which we want to upload on our Google Drive. So here in Pavli Form Builder responses of form submission, we have received the URL, the link of the file which was uploaded by the user while submitting the form. So from these responses of file URL, we will be mapping this response of file uh, upload file URL over here in this field of URL. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in the drop down below, you will see a list of all the responses which we have received from Pavli Form Builder of a form submission. And out of all of these responses, select the response of upload file and it will be mapped over here. After this, the next thing it asks us is the folder ID. And the help text below it says, enter the folder ID here. You can get the folder ID from the Google Drive folder URL. Now here we have to enter the folder ID of that particular folder from our Google Drive in which we want to upload the file. And to get the folder ID on your Google Drive, just go to the folder, just open the folder in which you want to upload the file. Like in my Google Drive account, I have created this folder named as files from form submission. And after opening the folder here in the URL section, you can see this folder ID. After folder slash, this is the folder ID. Just copy it from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. So in whatever folder you want to upload the file, just open the folder and from URL section, copy the folder ID and paste it over here. The next thing it asks us is the file name. That what is the name of the file which we are uploading in Google Drive? So let's take an example that I want the file name to be a combination of the name of the user over here. So we will be using the name of the student, name of the user who has submitted the file and the subject over here after a hyphen. So what we are going to do, first we are going to map the response of the name of the user. Let's map the first name. After a space, let's map the last name as well. And then let's add a hyphen over here. And then let's map the subject. So using the name and the subject, we are going to create a file name over here. And the help text over here says, enter file name. Files will be saved by the same name in your Google Drive. Please include the file extension with the file name. So here guys, we have entered the file name. 
but it is also asking us to add the extension of the file that what kind of file in which format the file is for example if you are taking the pdf file from the students from this form submission that we have to enter dot pdf as the extension if you are getting some video file then we have to enter dot mp4 if you are uploading the users are uploading some kind of images then we have to enter dot jpg or dot png over here so you have to actually mention in the form that what will be the file format in which the users have to upload the file over here so here in this video we are taking an example of pdf so i will just manually enter the dot pdf file extension so all the files which i'm going to upload with this file extension the files will be stored in my google drive and after entering the file extension just click on this save and send test request button now when we click on save and send test request here you can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the file whose URL we have mapped over here, basically the file which we have received from Pabli Form Builder form submission, the form response, the same file is now uploaded on our Google Drive in this specific folder whose ID we have entered with this particular name. So let's check it. We will go to a Google Drive folder. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same file is now uploaded on our Google Drive. And we have the same file name, demo student English PDF dot PDF. So we have added the same name and the same extension over here. So here guys, you have to make sure that the users upload the file in the particular file format. Or instead of this, you can do one thing. You can actually add a field of file format as well. With all of these things, you can actually add a field. And in that field, the users can enter that in which file format they have uploaded the file. And you can map the response of that file format over here in this file name extension. So here guys, in this way, you can see that we have successfully created this automation workflow. And using this automation, whenever we are going to receive a new form submission in Pabli Form Builder with some file uploaded on the form, automatically the file which was uploaded will be added in our Google Drive. It will be uploaded on our Google Drive. So here guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once in real time. And to do it, let's go to our form and let's make another submission. For example, let's enter the name as test student this is the name of the person let's add an email address and this time let's enter the subject as physics assignment this is the subject and let's upload the file so we have this pdf of physics assignment let's uh, open it and upload it in the form and click on submit so as we click on submit just now you can see that we have received a new form submission in the form which we have created using Pabli Form Builder. And because we have created this automation workflow, we will see the file which we have just now uploaded on Pabli Form Builder. The same file will be uploaded on our Google Drive. So let's check it. And yes, here you can see that the same file is uploaded. We have the same file name, test students means the name of the user who has submitted the form and the subject which they have entered. And here you can see the same PDF file which we have uploaded directly in our Google Drive. So in this way guys, you can actually create this automation workflow and we have tested this automation that it is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pabli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.